Romans chapter 16, verse 17, and it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Pretty much a response video. Just laying back and off the elder bro, Manata Zagba from GMS South Carolina. He did a video earlier called Nationhood Over Doctrine is Going Off. H O I. And the scriptures confirm that. It's most definitely about the doctrine. Remember, what is it? Romans 3 and 3. How can 2 go to matter? Is, is that it? Romans 3. Amos. Amos chapter 3 and 3. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Just, just some quick. It's about the elect and the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're going to be speaking the same thing. They're not going to be speaking something different. That's that's confusion. That's madness right there. But but you would think, you no know, saying men has been around for a little while would know that. But the Lord said, I reveal my secrets into my service to prophets. But well, let's get this right quick. This is gonna be something quick. Nationhood over doctrine is going off. Off, man. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So you're going to hang with somebody. You're going to walk with somebody that you agree with. You're not going to be hanging around. You believe in the Bible. But oh yeah, um, an Israelite um, that believes in Satanism, you're going to be hanging with him. Or an Israelite that believes in um, atheism, you're going to hang with him. Nah, man. An Israelite, a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian. For, for those that don't know who the Hebrew Israelites are according to the Bible. A person that believes in hell, you gonna hang with them? <laughs> a person that says I only believe in the Old Testament, you gonna believe? You gonna walk with them? You gonna teach with them? A person that's calling on God and Christ blessed, but you calling on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you you gonna walk with them? You gonna hang out with them? You gonna fellowship with them? When the scriptures tell us that we should all speak the same thing. Was that, that scripture right there is on the screen. Lord willing, we'll get that too. Just want to hear some points though. All Israel is not going to come together, all right? But the elect is, and the elect is going to speak the same thing, and they're going to believe in the same doctrine, all right? One, one Israelite group, some of some um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and verse 17, is sleeping with a white woman. You're going to fellowship with that person? And then another Israelite group is saying that Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and verse 17 is an embargo. You're going to fellowship with that person? Huh? It's an embargo. It's a white woman. It's June. It's, it's, um, it's John 3, 16. You going you gonna to walk with a person like that? When it's, especially when the scriptures say, let, let every man speak the same thing? Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So no, all Israel ain't going to come together. The elect did. So let's just go right back. Let's go right back. Like I said before, this ain't going to be that long. Just want to hear some points. Just laying back and off the Elder Bros video. Nationhood over doctrine is going way the hell off. H-O-I, right? House of Israel, right? Yeah, as long as you're an Israelite, or, 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 you can come over here and fellowship with us. As long as you know you're an Israelite. That's going off, man. You see, the scriptures say, um, um, ha, ha, pretty much have no fellowship with unbelievers. I'm going to see if I can get that too, with non-believers, right? Let's get this one more time. Romans chapter 16. And remember, um, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20, it says, if they speak not according to this word, because it ain't nowhere in the word where it says all Israel is going to come together on this side. In the kingdom, all Israel is going to come together. That's when all Israel is going to come together in the kingdom. Not on this side, man, because the Lord said he's going to gather the elect. There's a whole lot of scriptures popping up in my head right now. I'm going to see if I can get some of them. And Lord willing, the whole elect of the nation of Israel is edified. You you go do what you want to do, though. You see? You do what's best for you. You see? 
And we're going, we're going to do what the Spirit commands us to do according to the Scriptures, right? According to the doctrine, right? Romans chapter 16, verse 17, it reads, Now I beseech you, I beg you, brethren, mark them, scope them, scope them. You know what I'm saying? Put a scope on them. You see? Mark them, call them out, say their names and everything. You got Israelite groups calling on God and Christ is blessed, but don't, oh yeah, we're supposed to come together with them, right? You got you got groups, you know what I'm saying? Israelite groups calling on Ahia Shia. Oh, we're supposed to come together with them, right? No, we're supposed to mark them. We're supposed to mark them. They're teaching about another dimension, how hell, and all this other nonsense, planet risk, and all this other nonsense. No, oh, just because they're Israelite, we're supposed to come. We're supposed to come together with the unconscious community too, right? And let them fellowship with us out there on the highways and byways too, right? Because because they're Israelites, right? That's, this is madness. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them, put a scope on them, mark them, call their names out and everything. Let our people know who to avoid. This is what the scriptures are saying. Mark them, which cause divisions. The the RFI the RFID chip is the M A R K written up in Revelation thirteen verse sixteen and seventeen. But other Israelite groups saying it's John three sixteen and it is an embargo and it's sleeping with a white woman and it is sin. The Lord said, "Mark them." Man, look, look, that's the end time prophecy. If you take that M A R, if you take that implantable device, if you take that karagma. if you insert, you know I'm saying something inside of your body in order to get some food. In order to keep your business open, you're going to be destroyed according to the Bible. So we mark them, which cause divisions. This is the doctrine, right? And look, look, and offense is contrary to the doctrine, which ye have learned, the doctrine, which we have learned, right? Which ye have learned and avoid them. Come together with them. Avoid them. Come together because we all Israelites, right? It's all come together, right? Nationhood over the doctrine, right? Do you not see how these ninjas are conducting themselves? So we're supposed to come together with them when the scriptures tell us not to. The scriptures say what? And avoid them. Avoid them. Avoid. What part of avoid don't you understand? Do I need to get the definition for it? You get You get it, man. You get it. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. And I'm going to get the scriptures that the elder um, got up on the screen too. Lord's will. I want to get this. Like I said before, just something quick. The Lord is gathering the elect of the nation of Israel And they're going to speak the same thing They're going to believe in the same thing This is Isaiah chapter 8 Verse 20 And it reads To the law Unto the testimony If they speak not according to this word What word? The words of the Bible What word? This doctrine This doctrine right? It is because there is no light in them so anytime you got somebody running around, I'm saying talk one side, it's all Israel. It doesn't matter what, what you teach, it doesn't matter what we teach, we all need to come together. That's madness. That's madness. Because if you have a person come up off the streets, I'm saying, and they, they ask, I'm saying, it's it's 10 different Israelite groups teaching together, right? Everybody believes in a different doctrine. Everybody believes in a different name. But then that uh, then a hopeful elect come up trying to figure out what the name of the Lord is. One group say God and Christ blessed. One group say Ahia Shia. One group say Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Guess what that's called? Confusion. Confusion. I just like come up. Yo, can you break down Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17? Because I just don't know what it is. I, 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 just, I just don't know. But, but the Lord said, don't do it. Don't do it. Then one Israelite group say, oh, it's just sleeping with a white woman. Just stay away from white women and you, you'll be okay. Just stay. And the dude said, I'm married to one of them. I'm married. Well, you got a divorce. Her. You got a divorce. Because as long as you got her, you got the M A R K. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You got it. You got it. You got the mark of the beast. Are you serious? It's not, it's not madness. That, it's not that, 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 that sound. That's madness. Madness, Israel. But you have it your way. The Lord said to the law and to the test. Oh, it's an embargo, bro. It's just an embargo. Oh, no, it's John 3.16. So you mean to tell me I got to stop reading John 3.16 and I'll be fine? Yeah, yeah. Just, just stop reading John 3. Read everything else in the Bible. Just stay away from John 3.16 and you will be okay. See how crazy that sound? See, see how absurd that sounds? But you have it your way, right? Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 To the law and to the testimony If they speak not according to this word The words of the Bible Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha included It is because There is no light in them Oh yeah we're supposed to hang with an Israelite group That's teaching hell right Right down the, down the world. Ah, 
when somebody's burning for all eternity, right? Re really? Really? Let's get a scripture that's on the board too that the elder put up there. And then we'll get a couple more scriptures and then we're going to wrap it up. This ain't meant to be nothing long. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. Let's see. Some Israelite groups believe that the Savior came already. <laughs> Some believe that he's coming. That that's and, oh yeah, and everybody's teaching together, right? Guess that's, guess what that's called? Confusion. Confusion. First Corinthians chapter one, verse ten, and reads: Now I beseech you, brethren, I beg you, brethren, brothers, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who they even call God and Jesus. That ye all speak the same thing. Every Israelite group is not speaking the same thing. So how can we come together? How can we come together when we're not all speaking the same thing? Let that make sense. So some people just be talking just to be talking, man. Sit back up what you're saying with a scripture. I need to see that in a scripture. If you're coming up to me saying something, show it to me in the scriptures. That, I want to see it come out of the Bible. All right. That's why, that's why we got to trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind. And we can't lean into our own understanding. But the Lord said, if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost, right? Now I beseech you, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, and it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, right? Come with the same doctrine. Can't have different doctrines, right? You got to speak the same thing and the whole elect of the nation of Israel. They're going to speak the same thing, right? It says, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. But you got Israel, different Israelite groups that don't believe that the scripture means this. You see? But this is the scripture right here. You no, know I'm saying this is a law right here, right? That, 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 we, that we speak the same thing But then you got Israelite groups having a unity camp but And they're not speaking the same thing So that's not real unity Real unity is when you're speaking the same thing And you're believing in the same thing That's real unity I don't, I don't know if you got the message I don't know if you're getting the message But that's real unity And you can look up the definition for that You see You got, you got, some, you got some Israelite groups um, Saying that um, all Israel is black all, all 12 tribes are just black. They're just dark, crispy. Oh, we're supposed to come together with them too, right? They're not speaking the same thing as we're speaking, but, we, but we're supposed to come with them, right? And just teach with them and fellowship with them, eat chicken and everything, blow chauffeurs and everything, right? Come, come on now. It, 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 it ain't making sense, you see? The Lord said, speak the same thing. There's many other scriptures that I can bring. What, what else did I want, man? Oh, yeah. Let's get this. Let's get this remnant. Let's get this right quick. And I got one more after this, and then I'm going to wrap up. Nationhood over doctrine is going off. All Israel is not going to come together on this side. You try, you try to, you try to override the scriptures. You're trying to override what the scriptures is saying. Let's get this. The scriptures say one thing, but you're saying another thing. You see? The Lord says he's gathering the elect of the nation of Israel. You're trying to gather all Israel. You see? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 21, and it reads, The remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel, shall return. The remnant, not all Israel, all right? Even the remnant of Jacob. Until the mighty power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Not all Israel on this side. You see? And, and let me get this. And look, look, remember, he have care for his elect. I'm going to see if I can get that too, but I want to get, um, is it Luke or is it Matthew? Let me see. It might be St. Matthew. It might be Luke. We're going to see right quick. Na nationhood over doctrine is going off and I just proved it with the scriptures you know what I'm saying and Edom and about he proved it with the scriptures on the video that he did you see and it's pretty much a response video to the video he did 
Yeah, um, you out there teaching that saying no, an Israelite group come up, yo, it's all about the nation, yo. It's all about the nation, yo. No, man. It's all about what Yahweh Baha Shim Yahweh Shai said. It's all about the doctrine, man. And we got to speak the same thing. If not, have no fellowship with them. Avoid them. I read there earlier. Mark them. Let, it, let the other Israelites, let the, let the um, other hopeful elects of the nation of Israel know who to avoid. And if they don't, that's on them. That's on them. The Lord said, give them one from me. Right? This is St. Matthew chapter 24. I think it's 24. Let's see. Bear with me. I just want to hit the point. Um, St. Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels. This red letter too. This Lord Yahweh shall speak it. Who they even call Jesus, right? And, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. You got Israelite groups saying there ain't going to be no Jacob's trouble. Ain't going to be no martial law. Ain't going to be no famine. This devil is not going to make it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to buy and sell when it's written in the scriptures. <clears throat> But we're supposed to fellowship with him on the highways and byways, right? That's confusion. And the Lord said he's not the author of confusion. You see? You hating on your brother. You hating. I'm reading scriptures, man. We reading scriptures. Hey, it's hate, man. It's hate, man. It's hate. Bringing out the truth according to the Bible. That's hate now, right? Come on, man. Get, get some thick skin, man. What it say? It's better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools, man. St. Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect, the whole nation. The elect, everybody. The elect, every Tom, Dick, Harry, Curly, and Moe that knows that they're Hebrew Israelite. The elect. And he shall gather together his elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other, man. And they're going to all be speaking the same thing. They're going to be all believing in the same thing. You see, I mean, if you don't get that, I don't know what to tell you. And I got one more. Bear with me. Second John chapter one. Verse. Uh, let's see. We we'll started nine. This the um a scripture um that the elder brought out. The elder Manasseh's out Bob brought out in one in his video that I'm doing a response to right. This is 2 John chapter 1, verse um, 9. Whosoever transgresseth and, and abided not in the doctrine, because they're saying nation over doctrine, right? Abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. And, and what we're bringing out is the doctrine of these scriptures that we're bringing out is the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, have not the heavenly father. He that abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, the 100% truth according to the Bible, he hath both the Father and the Son. And if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, meaning they're not teaching the same thing that you're teaching, right? Receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. Are we not hearing this? I mean, I got the scriptures right here on the screen. Are we not hearing this? So all Israel is not going to come together on this side. Yeah, they 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 forcing it. They forcing the issue. They just gonna make all Israel come together. When the scriptures say you get if you're gonna come together, you gotta be speaking the scriptures still right there on the screen. First Corinthians chapter one, verse 10. You gotta be if if any Israelite group is gonna come together and teach together, they gotta be speaking the same thing. You got to speak the same thing. You can't come together with other Israelite groups speaking something different. That's confusion right there. That is confusion. It's, it's, it's basically madness. You see? What it say? What 10 say again? If there, 2 John chapter 1, verse 10, and it reads, If there come unto you, in, unto you and bring not this doctrine, the 100% truth according to the Bible, right? The truth according to the Bible. Receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speak. And this is the, just the word. 
It's just the um, the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible, and there's many other scriptures that I could bring out. You know what I'm saying, but I just wanted to hit something quick. You know what I'm saying, it was on my spirit to do a response video, because the Israelite group would come up to you quick and say, "Yo, it ain't about the doctrine, yo. It's, it's about the nation, man." The nation, man. The nation, man. It ain't about the doctrine. We can speak you know, as long as you got your fringes on. As long as you got your fringes on, that's all the Lord care about. The Lord don't care if we're teaching hell. The Lord don't care if we're teaching that all 12 tribes of Israel are all black. The Lord don't care about that. As long as you got your fringes on. Now, how that sound, Israel? That's madness, Israel. Mark them which cause division and avoid them. Because the scriptures say one thing, but then they'll say another. Yeah, man, we need to get together in fellowship. I know y'all believe in this and that and the third, and, and we believe in this, that and the third. I know we don't believe in the same thing, and I know we don't teach the same thing, but we need to get together, man, and hit the highways and byways and bring it out. We need to bring it out, bring it out. No. No, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. Are we not hearing this? Are we not reading this together? We're reading this together. Well, yeah, they'll turn right around and call this hate, right? So what if some did not believe? It's all about the elect, and the elect going to speak the same thing. Nationhood over doctrine is going off at HOI. Shalom.